Hello students, let's work out the following problem. It says, show that the maximum volume of the cylinder which can be inscribed in a sphere of radius 5 root 3 centimeter is 500 pi centimeter cube. So let's now move on to the solution. We have to maximize the volume of cylinder which can be inscribed in sphere of radius 5 root 3 we have to show that the maximum volume is 500 pi cubic centimeter. So let the radius of cylinder be x centimeter and the height of the cylinder is h centimeter. We are given that the radius of sphere is 5 root 3 centimeter Now this is the sphere in which we have a cylinder. This is the center of the sphere. Now we have to find the height of the cylinder in terms of the radius of the sphere and the radius of the cylinder. Now the radius of the cylinder is x centimeter so the diameter will be 2x centimeter and diameter will be 10 root 3 since the radius is 5 root 3 and diameter is double of the radius so it would be 10 root 3. So now the height of the cylinder is square plus 2x square is equal to Two r square, where r is the radius of the sphere. So we have x square plus four x square is equal to four r square, right? So this implies x square is equal to 4 r square minus x square upon 4. Now the volume of the cylinder is given by the formula pi r square h where r is the radius and h is the height. So now here R is X. So the volume of the cylinder we denoted by V and this is given by pi R square H here radius is this. So it is x square is 4 r square minus h square upon 4 into h. So this is equal to pi by 4 into 4 r square h minus h cube. Now for maximum or minimum we need to first Differentiate V with respect to H. So dV by dH is equal to pi by 4 into 4R square minus 3H square. Now putting dV by dH is equal to 0. We have 4R square minus 3H square is equal to 0. So this implies 4R square is equal to 
3h square. So this implies taking square root on both sides we have 2r is equal to root 3h. So this implies h is equal to 2r by root 3. Now we need to find the second order derivative of v with respect to h. It would be pi by 4 into minus 6 h now we find the value of d square v by d h square at h is equal to 2r by root 3 to check the maxima or minima if it is negative then we say that the volume is maximum and if it comes out to be positive the volume will, will be minimum. So we have pi by 4 into minus 6 h is 2r by root 3. So this is equal to minus root 3r pi which is negative. So this implies volume is maximum for h is equal to 2r by root 3. Now we have to find the maximum volume. Volume is pi r square. r square is 4. r square minus x square upon 4. So it is 4 r square minus h square upon 4 into h. Now h is 2 r by root 3. So volume is pi by 4 into 4 r square minus h square that is 2 r by root 3 square into h that is 2 r by root 3. Now this is pi by 4 into 4 r square minus 4 r square by 3 into 2 r by root 3. So again pi by 4 into taking 4 r square common 1 minus 1 by 3 to 2 r by root 3. Now again pi by 4 into r square 4 gets cancelled with 4. 1 minus 1 by 3 is 2 by 3 into 2r by root 3. Now again 2 into 2 is 4. 4 gets cancelled with 4. And we have pi r cube upon 3 root 3. Now r is the radius of the sphere which is 5 root 3. So this is pi 5 root 3 cube upon 3 root 3. So we have pi. Here we have made a mistake. Since we have already cancelled 4 here, so we will be having 2 into 2. So the volume will be 4 pi r cube upon 3 root 3. So here also we need to multiply this with 4. So we have pi into 4 into 5 cube is 125. Root 3 cube is 3 root 3 upon 3 root 3. So 3 root 3 gets cancelled with 3 root 3. And the volume is equal to 500 pi. And that is what we had to prove. We also need to write 
the unit of the volume which is centimeter cube. So this completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.